so excited to be a part of this ceremony because God has ordered the steps of a good man to our granddaughter. And if he messes it up, <laughs> he's got us to face, right, Dad? <laughs> you were here by divine design, all of you. And it's my honor to welcome you Max and Caitlin, you were here because you, in a very real way, have informed their very being today. Some of you have known them a brief time, others since, well, some of us have been praying before they were even born. And we are so excited for the two godly young people. They have become an art we're very grateful that you're willing to celebrate with us today. Well, enough of that. Dad needs to sit down. <laughs> Who gets this woman to be married to this man?
This ring I give you. This ring I give you. As a symbol and pledge. That is the glory of our constant faith. To our constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. <laughs> no, that's my child. <laughs> Caitlin, would you take the ring and put it on his finger and repeat after me as you put it on? This ring I give you as a token and pledge of our constant faith and abiding love. What a joy to be the first to introduce to you, Mr. and Mrs. Max Bauer. Put your hands together, Lenny and Jill Bauer, parents of the group. And Chad Shoes. J.C. Bauer, sister of the groom, escorted by Christopher Chu, brother Bride. Friend of the bride, Hannah Shear, escorted by David Kirshner, cousin of the groom. Give it up. This is a day that both sets of parents have been praying for for decades now. We know God. And that's what you told me. So I'm just going to tell you today, and you can't argue with me, that I was right and you were wrong. I know you don't need a guy, you just want one. Exactly. Exactly. So thank you. But seriously, Max, you are a guy that Tammy and I have been praying for for years. One thing that I know is... My daughter uh, is very precious to me, and several months ago, when you were in our house, I remember Caitlin and I had one of our moments that we've had many times where we didn't quite see eye to eye on something, but you were lovingly patient with her, and I turned to Tammy that night after I went to bed frustrated, and I told her, I said, Max, you've learned to lead Caitlin in a way that I can't, and so for that, thank you. Thank you for that. Caitlin, you bet my pumpkin since you were born. You have grown in ways that have taught me things. I don't think anybody can control it. And as you start this marriage together, the one thing that I want you to remember is your team and our people will always have you. We'll always be rooting for you. We'll be cheering for you. We'll be there to offer support in any way that we can. But one thing that we want you to know is that we're not there to replace each other for you. And so we will always remind you to turn to each other, no matter what. And as you do that, we will be there to support the love with you. So as you start this day, we just want to celebrate with you. We want to celebrate together because we realize that you guys are better together than you are apart. And this is the day that God created each of you for. And it's a moment that you will never forget. So with that, we just want to celebrate together. And I know today what we've done is we want to just start off by praying and asking God's blessing on the food, but also ask the blessing on your marriage. And I know somebody who is very special to you, Gaylord, 
uh, is your papa, your grandpa from mom's dad. And so we'd ask him if he would come and bless, ask him for a blessing on the food and on your marriage. You know I want you. It's not a secret I try to hide. I know you want me. So don't keep saying our hands are tied. You claim it's not in the cards. Fate is pulling you miles away. secret I try to hide but I can't have you we're bound to break in my hands are tied <laughs>